guys, my name is Jato Naomi and I specially welcome you to today's edition of Gist Time on VOS TV because the news that I brought today, more like the gist that I brought today, it will make the faint-hearted shake. Do you understand? Okay, I know you guys, you may have been hearing small, small show, 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 show here and there about a major story. Anyways, before that major story, have you subscribed to this channel? If you have not, what are you waiting for? We drop trending gist every day, not one, not two. If you want to keep up with everything that is happening in town you should probably follow this channel subscribe right now click the notification button so you can get notified every time we drop something now the story for today i'm sure you must have been hearing small small sh -sh 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 here and there but i'm here with the full gist like complete gist of everything that has been happening between the great man of god and plenty plenty scandal around him firstly let's get to meet the is it protagonist or the antagonist of this story because the story is large you're going to be hearing big big names that you don't even believe because even me i'm in a state of shock i still don't believe it however i want to let you know that in this video as a as a proper violence ambassador i'm not going to be supporting any party i'm not going to be saying sir did it or sir did not do it and also anybody that is alleged nobody should come after me because I'm only stating facts. Are we not now? And let's get right into it. In case you don't know this man of God, this is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He is the senior pastor and founder of the Omega Fire Ministries. This popular, very, very controversial man of God is married to this beautiful missus here. And they have beautiful, lovely children together. Beautiful wife, right? Now, what comes to mind every time you see Apostle Johnson Suleiman in a scandal is this. Why is it always him? Is he the most popular pastor in Nigeria? Is he the most powerful pastor in Nigeria? Is he the richest pastor in Nigeria? Why is it that they hate him so much? And then there is this question that I personally saw on Twitter earlier. The question was this. Is it that Apostle Johnson Suleiman has a share in Hollywood? And why is it that every time you see a news about him, of course, apart from the time when he opened the restaurant, though, the question was this. Every time you see a news that pertains to him, it's always one Hollywood actress or the other claiming that there is something going on within them. And my personal stand is this. True, 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 true. There is no smoke without fire. So if all these people are coming outside, for just him when he's not the only pastor in nigeria if they are coming out for just him then guys there must be an iota of truth there meanwhile i'm not going to dwell on that i'm not going to dwell on that at all at all because i have character like i told you guys before i have characters in this my forges now let's go to the first one which is the hottest right now halima abubaka this is a very beautiful nollywood actress she's actually fast rising for now, of course, we know a lot of Nollywood actors, they used to have side business and their side business when they pass blushing cream. But no we meet all can by the way. But this one, we don't know of any side business per se, but she was living the big life. The reason why I stopped shouting God when it comes to all these Nollywood actors is because number one, me and you know, me and you know, especially these people that are acting as about movies, as about movies, worry movies. Me and you know that they are not paying people that big money that you are using to live big life. So if you come and you say you bought Range Rover Sport, ah, congratulations, but I can never shout God with it because I, I, know, I don't really know how now they run them, you know? You know, the small girls with big girls kind of thing. But back to the story, Shasso. This beautiful Nollywood actress, she just came out. But meanwhile, 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 she's not the she's not an A-list. You cannot categorize this one among them, Messi Johnson, them in the other set. No, this one is you know up and coming. You know what they do these days? Can, can I even say she's up and coming? Like, do you know her face? But based on this scandal, me, I never knew her before. It's because of this scandal, I just said, ah, there's somebody like this, you know, very pretty lady. So then she came out, she said, um, she has been sick for a while. Meanwhile, do you know this lover? The violence lord. The king, the oba of violence. They came out to say that, you know, this lady is sick and that she's not actually what she what she pretends to be, that she's actually very sick. And a lot of persons attack them based on say they said they carry all these kind of news before that. You know, is a lie, this lover is lying, that's how they used to do it against all these hustling, strong women, women supporting women. So they came out and said it was a lie, you know, she's not sick. Even she that time, she's post-profile picture, pictures like this that she's okay. Meanwhile, some days back, 
she came out to say it's true or what the violence people talked about that she, that she was sick you know the video that she made i'm sure the video should be explained right now the video she made you can see her face plenty plenty pimples and then she said that since she has been battling with swelling stomach that she bled for more than six months and that was after her affair with our very popular man of god apostle john Suleiman. now people did not really they did not really believe her until they saw the video of her actual big stomach because in the past i think in 2018 she came out first and said that she, she, people were complaining that ah your belly don't be big Abby, you get belly you want born she said yes that she was pregnant few months later she even shared pictures of a baby that she gave birth to it was later that nollywood people you know nollywood people they will not hide they will not hide your shame in your house nollywood people came out and said it's a lie oh, that she's actually very sick she herself in her video she made it known that she bled for more than six months that they took her to various hospitals and nothing they said nothing was wrong with her it wasn't fibroid it wasn't that when well, you know the woman with the issue of blood so well that's that's halima's story and her claim is that apostle johnson suleiman used her for rituals do you believe that meanwhile for now i know as you are watching this movie i want you to go to the comment section and begin to drop it for me what was let me understand do you think it's possible that this powerful man of god this i should not say self-acclaimed this very powerful man of god do you know his church omega fire ministries senior pastor is actually involved in something like that let me know in the comment section meanwhile let's go back to our story now this story was happening on his own stephanie no stephanie stephanie is actually a mongo but we will not go to stephanie now let's let's do it in the chronological order people that started collecting water water as soon as the story started emerging the first of them was bob risky now you know bob risky now <laughs> because you don't know bob risky he's neither a he nor a she but biologically is supposed to be a he but socially is a she now he or she was the first person that collected you know in the, in the last of the shook mass for waiting no concern so as this thing was happening jejeli jejeli he came on his instagram page and wrote gist lover you are dumb see as you have posted halima gist now what has happened you are evil just because you want people to believe all you post you went as far as posting and publishing private private convo in public damn you know what I, you know what is shocking me till now he has not bag out normally they bag out well well <laughs> but let's continue now i see why you remain a ghost forever did halima offended you <laughs> i knew it was coming the background must be there did halima offended you why did you do this to her now those of you following this lover don't just laugh over this lover post please also learn never to trust no one on this earth again let's forgive the grammatical blunder and continue and then after posting this the tag was i'm not halima friend and i will never be a friend but halima should know who she had that conversation with let her go and write petition asap that person got spent upcoming christmas in j asap i'm so upset damn fear human surely if you see this post you will think he's coming to her aid you know a good comrade trying to fight for somebody a, a lonely person but this did not go down well with halima at all she didn't like it because she made a counter post making it clear that she and bobriski they are not friends so, so bobriski should remove his I be her dirty mouth from her issue you understand like you're not my friend she even made know that but briskly actually laughed at her back then when she was battling with the disease you know according to her this her disease not just come and it has been there it, it actually affected her in the past then the stomach was getting bigger and bigger later she said her body opened up and then she bled for like six months and then it went back again now it's surfacing that she has even sold all her properties and she's really really broke and then when the sickness started that that apostle john Sleeman stopped giving her money so this was the first person that collected was also but risky just keep your mouth in one place moving on in this story let me tell you the second character that collected it is bimbo akinsoya she is a very beautiful nollywood actress although she she's not really that popular in the nollywood mainstream she's more popular in the yoruba movies we see her face a lot over there than here and she also came out to sympathize she said she saw the post and she was, i think i even have a picture yes she sympathized with 
you know uh you know this thing broke her heart so this is her post she said this particular story on gist of us page breaks my heart i am very sad troubled and feel like crying even me i'm heartbroken believe me then she tagged this she wrote all that glitters is not gold I can't sleep cause my heart bleeds for the lady going through so much pain and coming online to dance and laugh. The thing that you people celebrities people used to do eh, is strong. Anyway, let's, let's continue. Let's continue. God, 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 please show mercy, show kindness. Some of us still believe in your supernatural power. Please, Lord, show her mercy. It costs us nothing to be kind. Stop throwing shades. Stop picking on people to fight. We all have our secret battles. Please be kind with your words. Be kind when you are even typing and stop seeing yourself as a keyboard warrior. Really, really sad. I mean, this, this is really sad. You know the reason why I had to bring this? Because I heard some persons say that everybody that came out to sympathize with Halima Abubakar, she was always attacking them. But up till right now, this post was made like yesterday. And up to right now, she has not come out to say, don't talk to me. Because everybody that has, you know, tried to shook her mouth in the matter, she used to give them both like, are you talking to me? She just throw it and give to them. But this particular bimbo, the reason why I have to bring it in is because she never attacked this one now. She did not say, don't talk to me, you are not my friend. She did not say, don't sympathize with me, I don't know you. Which means, we are going somewhere. That brings us to the next person. Shan George. Hmm. See this beautiful lady. She can be considered a veteran in the Nollywood, um, you know, industry because she has been around for a while. And this woman was just on her own. I'm sure she saw that just lover post and also the post from Halima herself. So she decided to shook mouth in the matter. But Halima wasn't having it. Let's look at her post. Shan George posted, one of the kindest and straightforward persons I know is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Just like in his numerous sermons, he says it blunt as it is, and that's something I respect in people. Just a normal comrade. Shook him out in something that does not concern her. Let's continue. Not everything is about intimacy. As for this lover, he is one person I've never met, but have a lot of respect for as well because he speaks for the downtrodden and don't care if the bullet hits him me i know if he deny my people where i respect but i never at any time dated the apostle i be water i don't get any hi this was painful halima wasn't taking this she just wasn't taking this see shanjo is just like that comrade that says now, I don't support violence, neither do I care for people who are violated. But this lady, watch. See, just, see, see, Halima wasn't taking it. See, her reply I said, Hello, hell, shan, shan, pa, pa, pa. You forget what you tell me, right? OMG, no look for my trouble, shan, judge. I hear you. You think that's all? It didn't end there. Then Halima sensed the type of violence that just broke. Now Rose, bloody gossip. I drove with you for 12 hours. What was your topic? A word I didn't utter. You fall my hand. Hmm. Hmm. It didn't end yet. Don't think it ended yet. There's another one. Shan George then replied. May not be like say she just keep quiet. She now replied. At Halima Abubakar, sweetheart, we've been colleagues and sisters in the industry for over 20 years now. My God, am I? Let me continue. We all talk plenty things when we are all girly, girly, jolly and at work. But how does that translate to me looking for your trouble? Please, did I by any chance mention your name anywhere on my post? I sincerely don't understand. Please, what's going on? How did this become a you and me matter? She's asking, where, where did she provoke this sort of violence from? Because what is coming for her, she does not understand it. And this is the peak of the story between that, that ties Shan George, Halima Abubakar, and the great apostle of our time. This brings us to the peak of this particular story when Halima Abubakar now, you know, replied to put a full stop to it. In fact, after this particular post, Shan George has not said pim, pim at all. Halima Abubakar wrote, How dare you, Shan? You are an elder. Respect yourself. She even knows that Shan George is an, as an elder. 
let's continue. Don't let me talk. You are a hypocrite. You told shit about Sule. Please, who is Sule? I can't remember. And whoever Sule is. Are you okay? Both of you told me, in fact, you they craze? She she's asking and she said they craze to an elder. So that moves us to the next person that collected. <laughs> so the la the last one now is that very beautiful lady in red. Her name is Steph Naya. I hope I'm pronouncing the Naya way. Is that, that Naya or Naya? But that's her. I know you are wondering why I have the picture of this lady, <laughs> Yabaojo, in the same frame. It's because the story is connected. It's actually very connected. Well, Steph is also a fast rising Nollywood actress. Of course, if she's not a Nollywood actress, what is she doing in the frame with Papa? <laughs> glory, glory. Now let's let's get back to the gist. So, Steph has come out to accuse Papa of some immoral act, along with Mama. No, she's not Mama. Along with Yabo Ojo. And um, in this very lengthy post made by Steph, she alleged some very, very strong allegations. Strong allegations with proofs. Is it proof now? With facts. Let me leave it as fast. Let's not say, say proof because she's not sure us receipt or selfie from the, you know, the place. So in this very lengthy post, she made a lot of allegations. According to her, she met Apostle um, in the airport when she was traveling to Dubai on a trip. And in that trip, they connected, you know, and then she and um, Papa had something. What man or woman used to have to give birth? They had it and then called her two weeks later, invited her to Nigeria and you know, a lot of things happened between them but the spike, the spike in this plenty post was that he told her to go to his girlfriend's house and when he got there, he realized that the girl, she rather, realized that the girlfriend was the Yabo Ojo, almighty Yabo Ojo, Nollywood actress, almost a veteran now because she don't say for the industry, where where? Oh, she, she was shocked, like, ah, now you. And then she said, Yabojo was actually very nice to her. He made her she made her comfortable. You know, they, she just told her that, money no day in Hollywood, though. Now, this, now, Papa, they sustain us. You understand? Now, Papa, they fund our lifestyle. So, going on in this plenty post, she said, Apostle came there to meet her, two of them. And another thing in this post, I think around here, is that when Apostle came to the house, everything was normal. He even met the actress, the actress mother in the living room. Everything was natural. He greeted her very familiar. Like they were familiar with each other. They knew each other before. Nothing was strange. And then later the mother left and went upstairs, leaving her and the actress and Papa. And then they had a one, two, three, three and some. Like there was a three and some happened between them. Like, why? This allegation is so strong. According to her, everything that Yabojo owns is Papa that gave it to her. And here, he even gave her $3,000 to send her son to the US. So it's not just funding her lifestyle, but also taking care of the kids. What a benevolent man. That is, if this is true. I'm not saying this is true, please. Now, this actually brings me, this driving from here, brings me to the last item on my list. The king of violence, the Oba of violence, the violence headquarter, this lover, has brought out a list according to him or her, because we don't know if the blogger is a him or her. And now, the violence headquarter, this lover gram media, you know, they have like more than 50 Instagram handles because you know how many people don't report this post, they will take it down, they open another one. Why? You can open as many accounts as you want on Instagram, even if they keep blocking it. Now, so they they release this list of people. You know, the I have I have the comprehensive list. According to her, or he or she that owns the blog, he said that this list is not even complete. So that later we keep updating the list. And then the reason why you cannot really dispute whatever these people say is that sometimes it used to come up with proofs. Do you remember your Ledoche? As soon as they released it, sharply, next post the guy quickly came out and said he has a son. A countless number of others, they, they, they are focused on majorly um, celebrities, which they call yeah, yeah Britons, and some politicians. Mm -hmm. So, this is their list. Actually, starting from the first one, we just talked about her, Kosi, 
this cousin that came to attack Halima now. So it's two of them that were doing it. This life, fear people. Then Halima Abubaka. Then this thing in Winifred. If they shock me, as I see this name, I was shocked because this is this is not a young person. Are you surprised? I am surprised too. Ha! She, ma, mommy, me what? And according to this blog, this is how it works. It's not like it's a network actually. It's not like he just told this one, told this one, told this one, told this one. What he what that blog said was that if he's dating one of them and the person now start living a flashy lifestyle, buying cars, buying houses, what happens is that the colleagues they know say no be movie they give and that money. So they will now investigate where is he or she getting her money from. Once they know, pa, is this man, they will not try to snatch the man. And the man is benevolent enough, he will now be doing like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them together. So back to our list. Um Omotola. I told you that. According to Juice Lover, they were the share, first set of babes that uh, you know Papa was involved with. Then there is Shan uh, George. Let's go to Iniedo. This one shocked me. Like Iniedo, like like. Then you have Messi, okay? Mm, I love your suspect. What do these BBN people say? And uh, Maria, you know Maria, BBN. Nengi, Messi Johnson. Let's go on. Iyabojo. Ah, we don't even mention her name before. Ruth Kadiri, Dorothy. If you don't know about Dorothy, Dorothy. <laughs> yes, I'm a British. We have Empress, Angela Okorie. Ha, shocking. Very, very shocking. Queen Wonkoye, Joy Ogbonu, Moesha. This Moesha now currently has mental issues. And according to what I'm hearing, it is because of the affair that she had with the man of God. The girl on this quest, because she's actually a, a, a Ghanaian actress. Georgina Onoha, Lilian Bash, Eve Essi, uh, Ngozi Ezeonu. And yes, that is for now the list of names that have been mentioned by this lover blog. And this particular cartoon says a lot, it speaks to volume. I don't know what this lover is trying to portray, but if you know, you know. That is all for now on this gist. But believe me, I know that it has not ended here because you see this lady called Ali Mabubaka. She's calling plenty people out and this lover has carried this on their heads saying that they are not going to rest until everybody involved comes out and says something. If you are still watching this video, after I have announced it earlier that you should click the like button. If you are still not like this video, you should do that right away, right now, right now. Click the like button and subscribe because daily we drop juicy content. You should always follow us. If you want to know what's up, the actual story, the real thing, we will drop it for you. Hello for now on this particular episode of Gist Time on VOS TV. My name is Jason Naomi. Peace out.